Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Permadeath, next generation. <laughs> Today we're gonna bum around and get some things done, maybe. Maybe I'll just find a place to go and play. <laughs> right now we're gonna get, uh, go kill some um, pirates. Because I spent all of my Quicksilver monies. <laughs> Got a little crazy with it yesterday. That was, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, that was a return to anomaly that I forgot all about. <laughs> Let's kill some pirates. <laughs> it don't say. I thought it felt funty, funny coming out of there. I don't even know what, like, place I'm at. <laughs> Things aren't gonna go well if I play like this. <laughs> Here, let's start with rockets. Oh, there they are. That was fun. <laughs> this is how I warm up to go to go just have a chill day. <laughs> How those things fly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. Hostile ships defeated. <laughs> now I have to actually call the anomaly because I don't even know where I let where I left it. That uh, <laughs> somewhere, just out of curiosity, before we go. Oh, how come I can't call the galaxy map? That's interesting. I can't even know. Hello. <laughs> I can't even call the galaxy map. Ah. Uh. That was weird. Oh, spend salvage data. I have, what did I say yesterday? Or, or last time, 30 of them. No, look! 52? Yeah, 52. I have 52 of them. Now that I know just exactly where the mud hut, mud hut is, uh, completo. This is probably the same thing. Uh, planetary depot. <laughs> He's like, ow. <laughs> Ariadne. Still an imposter. Still don't know who that is. <laughs> We are in, um, it doesn't say what galaxy that is. How do people know? It doesn't say what galaxy that is. Hmm. Oh, we must be in Euclid because it doesn't say the galaxy for spawn base. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Hi, Mercury. <laughs> um, let's see. What did we do last time? We took care of the roamer. 
Um, and we built the mech. Cube. I think I already have the spear creator. Let's find out. Um, I need an inverter and a switch to make blinking lights, right? Uh, oops. I'm trying to just remember this stuff off the top of my head. And ceiling. Okay. Tables and... Oh, that's right. I don't have furniture. I completely forgot. Here we are, six minutes in. And I'm just now remembering that I don't have furniture. <laughs> Can't even decorate. I wish there was... Um, a very simple, straightforward uh, end table. This is actually an end table, not something that I have to manipulate into an end table. Um, oops. Keep doing it. Just keep it up. Keep it up till you make yourself crazy. <laughs> Um, I think the crate is what is about closest. Messy drawers. <laughs> These drawers, they're like all messed up. Uh, regular lockers. Oh, we can build the Atlas Pass. Tall cabinet. Uh, crate fabricator. I almost did it again. That third finger on my right hand has a mind of its own. Wall fan. Wall unit. That kind of doesn't look like anything. Storage panel, flat panel. It's right there. Shelves. They're nice looking. All right. Uh, oh, I only have one walker brain. Did No, Lava must have given that to me. Let's get rid of the stasis devices and the fusion igniters. Get that money. And we'll go there. Pick up a little bit of money. This is almost one of those uh, uh, prep episodes because um, I haven't really had time to do anything. And um, so um, I haven't had time to set all this stuff up for today, so it's just turning on the game, literally, um, and starting to play. And, oh, wow. Oh, what planet is this? Yet Yetawe. Oops. Uh, oh, this is near No Man's Sky. Okay. Um, is this a frozen planet? We do need a radon farm. Uh, up on the space station, the AI price is not horrifying. It's also not good. <laughs> the stasis device, I mean, art the uh, activated indium price is not horrifying. That's what I meant to say. Stasis device is a terrible price, but fusion igniters are good. So we'll sell those. 
and I won't sell the stasis devices for negative three. Oh, that's nice. Uh, a couple of the things that we're going to be doing this coming week um, is going to buy uh, Mistress of Frost, the hauler. And um, having confirmed that now on a couple of saves, because what I did was I went on to Permadeath of Journey, which is the save that actually found Mistress of Frost, and bought a second one. And I did it because there was so much crap in my inventory that I couldn't even move it around well enough to organize it. Like there was only one space left in all my storage containers. That's the kind of inventory Tetris you're not gonna see me play. <laughs> and because I don't wanna throw away potentially a billion units worth of stasis devices, um, I wanted to be able to organize it all. I think I've seen this. Uh, what was the class? I've forgotten. Uh, C class, that's right. Oh, I need modules for my new gun. Hello, can I have some modules? Um, perfect. I'll take those two. Thanks. Um, so I just went ahead and uh, bought a second Mistress of Frost, so now I have two of them. <laughs> uh, Stasis device, plus 1.3. Woohoo! Alright, so we have a half a billion units. Almost. Good enough. And so we need to sell fusion igniters on the ground and stasis devices up here. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, that's the trade post. That red... Red beacon is a trade post. And that has aggressive sentinels. That did not say that. Did it? In the discoveries? No. You bam! You bam is behind the big planet. Back there somewhere. <laughs> you bam. <laughs> All right, where is it? This is when I give up and go into first person. that right there. That is Agdia Doe. Whoa! Well, that sucks. I have no idea where this planet is. It's kind of weird. We'll just go till they pull us out. There we go. Give me that. <laughs> Where is this other planet at? I only see three planets here. It says there's four. This is the one we want to go to. Discovered a week ago. Ah, I see it. <laughs> Sneaky! <laughs> I 
That was really sneaky. It just looks like a, some, just like a speck of dust on the screen. Here we go. <laughs> Help! I've lost an entire planet. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to find it in the first place. There it is. Oh, I don't want to talk about that thing. <laughs> it just makes the pirates angry. <laughs> Alright, clearly this is a moon. Let's see what kind of weather it is. It is drifting snowstorms. Oh, what? Ah, what? Something sneaking around? Look at that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, what am I looking for? Radon. Okay. And no power. Maybe on the other side of this gas, which is probably oxygen with my luck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I went too far. Oh my gosh, it's in a cave. <laughs> Oh good, it's not a cave. <laughs> it's only C class, but we don't need that much. It's on top of this rock. What is it? Right on! All right. <laughs> it's right in front of my nose like that. <laughs> combination of my headset is messed up. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's a wheel just rolling around. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this is worth it. Eyeballs. I have to reset. So I can do this whole thing with solar. Still nothing. Yeah, let's do it with solar. <laughs> Look at how far away it already is. Solar is much, much faster. There's also some frost warts right there. <laughs> Boy, 
Boy, talk about getting sidetracked. Sidetracked. There it is. All right. Oh, yeah, it's on top of these two rocks. Okay. They're going to get disappeared. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see how we are doing on metal plate. Plenty. And need to go over here to industrial gas extractoriness. Trying to be both neat and uh, timely. I learned a valuable lesson the other day. <laughs> Hook all these crazy things up. How many can I make? 51. Hook all these crazy parts up before you surround them with supply depots. Supply depots, I can only make nine, which is more than probably I need. Oops. There we go. Power. I don't know exactly what I'm going to run out of here. So I got to run out of it first. It's really faster than trying to look at the inventory and figure it out. Oh, where did that go? Let's see, gold, okay, gold is easy. Concentration. Uh, did I miss the middle one? There it is. Hello. I got stuck down in the depots. batteries before I freeze to death. Is that a battery? <laughs> I don't know how many times I've put down uh, biofuel reactors. I'm out of stuff for batteries.
world. There we go. Okay, they're powering up. Did I get them all? I think I did. really hard to see. Is everybody moving? Yep, yeah, okay. Now that's going to take 70 hours, uh, actually six hours, <laughs> to get 7,500. That is exactly the same amount um, that I get of, um, what is the other one? Uh, Mordite, which is not obviously a gas. Uh, two carbon nanotubes. How much am I using now? I am using 320. Um, I think that means that I need one more. Let's now, now that it's not snowing. Uh, let's see here. See if I can see in there. I was hoping I could get right down in there. Let's see. Uh, yep, I got them all in the first place. So hopefully, hopefully that will stay intact. Alrighty, an eight minute radon farm. What was the next thing? <laughs> uh, the next thing I think is to go plant um, cactus flesh. Where's, um, there it is. <laughs> Where's my base? I don't know how I went off the rails, but boy, I went off the rails. <laughs> Hello, good grief. All right, let go of me. Thank you very much. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot they raised the amount that you get, raise the amount of Quicksilver. I was expecting that to say 500. <laughs> there it is. And I got need an open window here because I forgot. There we go. I, I don't even know if I have any cactus flesh. I may not. Only 92. That's not going to work. Darn it. No. That's <laughs> how everything is going. <laughs> Let's go get some cactuses. <laughs> I only need like um, 
Let's see, one uh, dome makes five unstable gel. So we'll make two domes of cactus flesh and we'll end up with extra unstable gel. Home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> Just the cactus flesh, please. Thanks. <laughs> um, there it is. <laughs> Did I have any? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. There's one there. And I think there's one or two more. Right there. Yeah, just one more. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Run! <laughs> uh, back to... Zephyr. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is such a crazy episode. <laughs> I just spent eight straight minutes not really talking. <laughs> and boy, these are really long. That is ridiculous. Uh, just hanging out. There we go. And pyrite. There we go. Up. All right. That one's got fungal mold. That one's got fungal mold. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Okie dokie. And the other thing is... I passed the cactus flesh. There it is. The other thing is uh, these doorways... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is nine, one thousand fifty. No. Uh, oh my gosh, it was like a hundred and fifty for each plant. So every two plants is three hundred. Oh, okay. I think that'll be enough. I think it'll be just slightly too much. But I won't know until, like, you know, 15 hours from now. Uh, 16 hours from now. Wow. Um, the other thing that I want to do, do I have room? Uh, let's make some unstable gel with it. Just to get it out of the way. Two. I was able to make two. And, oh, it says I can reach the starship from here. That's amazing. Alright, we need the up one. I need to color code all of these. <laughs> Alright, let's get in the center here. Oh, dude, you're gonna you're gonna lose this uh, landing platform that you're sitting on. Oh, my ship is on one of them. Good grief! Whoa! I need flat ground that I can see, or I'm gonna have to go all the way back down there. That works. Yay, he's gone. <laughs> I forgot those things last time, too, when I was redoing all of this. And they were just floating in the air, and I couldn't really see them.
<laughs> I was like, why can't I put this thing here? <laughs> All right, let's see here. That's just going to make a circle. Um, if I put in that's just going to make a circle, right? Hmm. Just like the one underneath it. So I want to go from this one, this one, that one, and, and that one. Look at how funny that is, because I colored a different color. I think that's, I think that's right. Okay. lost track of where the computer was. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get over the middle. Uh, I think that looks better. I know it's more flooring but it's also more floor space. And I was thinking I'd like to have like um, an area where there was some maybe um, office stuff. This is all really mechanical and I can't really go down because if you look, um, oh, that happened to be that one <laughs> that was sticky too. We'll take that away. If you look, down is just the ground right there. There's no more down there. Um, get the fat end in the right place, please. It won't do it now. There we go. <laughs> and this area might be too small, so if I glassed it in and put in one doorway, I'd need to have a doorway for each one of those things. So this area is just really too small for what I want to do. And I can't really do, uh, wow, where'd those two holes go, uh, come from? <laughs> um, I can't really do anything here. So I might have to put in the stairs, you know, and actually go, oops actually go downstairs. Where are they? Oh, I told you we might need parts. There they are. And actually make offices down in these rooms. That might be a neat idea. Hmm. If I keep them, then I can 
put in um, a window, you know, here and there. Uh, oops, I went right past it. Uh, regular glass, there we go. Uh, so I can just put in like a window, like here and there. That looks awesome. Oh, I like this idea a lot. I was really worried about where am I in the world am I gonna put all the administrative rooms? And that seems like a good place. That way those places are being used instead of just being left empty. Oh my gosh, we did so much today. Um, we did a Nexus mission. We built a radon farm. We planted cactus flesh and I finally figured out where to put my office. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, we also built the landing, but rebuilt the landing pads and I put that roof in. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we'll do something different tomorrow, I'm sure. Have a great day.